it's a good campaign. It makes people think and, and reconsider their giving. And it is really easy. It's easy to sign up as a church. It's easy to sign up as an individual donor. And it's also easy to manage. We as a church faced several challenges um, at the time and one of the biggest one was finances. Um, in fact, it was so bad we uh, had to stop our direct debit um, for parish share during the year um, because we simply didn't have enough money on our bank account. Our vicar at the time heard about parish giving scheme as some sort of miracle cure for uh, uh, planned giving and he asked me to look into it um, as I was a member of the stewardship team at the time and I knew we needed to do it um, and I knew my fellow PCC members felt the same but we really didn't have anybody to drive it so I said well let's do it if somebody else from the PCC does it with me and we decided to go ahead. We really wanted to achieve two things. One thing was to uh, reduce our admin burden. We didn't have a treasurer at the time um, because nobody wanted that to touch that job with a barge pole because there was so much admin involved. Um, and we didn't have a stewardship recorder at the time, so we had absolutely no clue how much money we would get um, a, a month. Uh, nobody claimed any gift aid. So it was, it was really bad. Um, so that was the key reason. We wanted to reduce our admin burden. But on the other hand, we also wanted to um, have a regular, put our stewardship income on a regular footing. Because our vicar had just given notice, we knew we were heading into a vacancy in a few months time and really we wanted to lock in that regular giving um, as far as we could. But one thing we got right was the timing. We, uh, did it as part of our stewardship campaign, um, a six weeks campaign in October and November culminating in our stewardship Sunday end of November. So that was right to do it there and then. It needs a few months because you get a monthly report as part of the stewardship um, um, of the parish giving scheme. So you need to monitor success over a few months time. And by that time we were finishing just before Advent. We didn't want to go into Advent with following up. So that was right. The second thing we did right was how we sold it to our congregation. We didn't sell it as to raise money, we sold it as let's reduce the admin burden. It wouldn't have worked to argue about uh, this is about increasing giving because ours is a congregation completely worn out by requests for money. Um, every year they hear about requests to increase giving because we are facing yet another deficit. It just wouldn't have worked. So we had um, a lot of the older congregation using the envelope scheme. Um, when we explained to them how costly that was, uh, they really got behind that move to the new system and we managed to completely eliminate the envelope scheme. It has improved our cash flow as we now get monthly gift aid claims. Um, we have been able to fill crucial roles. We now have a stewardship recorder, we now have a treasurer and it's really down to reducing the admin burden. We are now a year into the scheme. I think we need a follow-up. So it is very important that after a year's time, and that will be a wish to parish giving scheme, um, to have letters sent out to the givers, thanking them for their previous gift and asking them to reconsider and review their giving. Um, yes, we have the option to tick um, increase with um, inflation, but I don't think that does justice to people who are still working, who might move to a better paid job. So I think it's very important that after a year's time, people are being asked again to review their giving and, and make a new commitment, if you like. I had a really good experience um, when I first talked about it. I had some a couple of older ladies who really got behind it. They championed it and they convinced other people of their circle um, to go with it, explain to them why they needed to do it. And uh, so that was wonderful for me. They really championed it. What I would say to a church considering moving to parish giving scheme is just go for it, do it. 
Um, even if your circumstances are such that you think you have no chance to ever do it, as long as the PCC is behind it, you only need one or maybe two people to drive it and, and you can do it, just, just do it. And the other thing is just make sure you can convert as many as you can at the very beginning. That's so important, it just helps you afterwards.